Cops are supposed to maintain professionalism with suspects, but what happens when they cross the line? Here are four times when corrupt cops got caught flirting with suspects. I'm, I'm Eric. Nice you. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I'm just like, damn. You just chilling tonight? Okay. If I'm wandering around, where should I wander? Probably somewhere around the studio star. This is Officer D'Angelo Reyes from the Tulsa, Oklahoma Police Department. On April 17th, 2022, Officer Reyes was on patrol when he encountered a woman on duty. The woman was walking her dog while Officer Reyes was patrolling as per his routine. Officer Reyes engages in a conversation with the woman and the conversation starts to take a filthy turn. Watch the conversation that was caught on the body camera of Officer Reyes. I mean, I heard some noise that, that direction, but I didn't Okay. See oh, do you live around here? Uh, yeah, I stay at the motel. Oh, which one? The studio. Oh, okay. My name? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Eric. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I mean, I'm just like, damn. You just chilling tonight? Officer Reyes claimed that his name was Eric. He later goes on and throws a flirty remark at the woman. The woman seems uncomfortable with that sort of speech. Watch what Officer Reyes is about to ask next. Okay. If I'm wandering around, where should I wander? at the studio star okay most people call me red red officer Ray's asks if she is free at night somewhere he proceeds to ask where can he find her and if she has some free space available at the motel she was residing in officer Ray's turned his body camera off here later the woman reportedly provided officer Ray's with her phone number and he coordinated with her later that night officer Ray's reportedly asked her if she was a prostitute he ran her identification through the system and found a comprehensive criminal record Officer Reyes allegedly threatened her about arresting her again. The woman said that she became worried that he would put her in jail again by planting false evidence against her. Allegedly, Officer Reyes then proceeded to rape her. This incident led to the initiation of an internal investigation. Officer Reyes admitted to having been physically involved with her and alleged that he thought it was consensual. He later resigned from his job after this incident. Following his resignation, he was immediately arrested and charged with first-degree offense of rape. If you think this was the only cop who got caught flirting on the job, wait until you watch this next case. How is it a trick question? It might be because, a trick statement. Because. However, you have to let me instruct the test before you know it's coming. I'm lucky you're cute, okay? But Am I? If I wasn't. Officer Howe is cuter, I promise. So, hold on, hold on. Bro, you gotta let me finish instructing. I'm trying to show you that if I lift my leg up off the ground. Oh, no. This is an officer from the City of Manor Police Department. On November 15th, 2020, a City of Manor Police Department officer noticed a dark-colored passenger car pulled over on the westbound shoulder of the highway. The officer observed that the rear taillights of the vehicle were not illuminated, raising concerns that other motorists might rear-end the car due to its position and the time of night. The officer pulled in behind the vehicle to initiate a welfare check and confirmed that only the front headlights were illuminated. Watch how the traffic stop unfolds. Mary 31, Texas 28, Nora, Nora, Robert 9052 on a black, I believe, Challenger, blacked out on the shoulder 290. Mary 31, my apologies, but I didn't advise my 20. It's going to be at a uh, the State of Presidente and 290 Westbound side. Hello. Hi, sir. I'm waiting for my sister to show up because my car is not starting. Okay. Okie doke. How long you been here? Probably about five minutes. Okay. Got anything to drink tonight? Uh, just like one drink. Okay, okay. How long you been here? Because I, I did a U-turn about a couple minutes back and I saw you. You know you have no taillights on, right? Probably about 15 minutes. Yeah, I've been waiting for my sister to show up. Okay. Okay. Should I call her? Uh, yeah. And how much did you say you had to drink? Probably about like one drink. Okay. And where are you coming from? Um, 
city, location, restaurant, friend's house. How about Belton. Is she coming from Belton? Uh, she's right around here. I mean, I'm, honestly, I'm not sure exactly where she's at. Right. Um, you want to try your sister again? You're good, man. You ain't got to have your hands up or nothing. You ain't going to try and harm me or hurt me or my partner, are you? Not at all. Then you good. How long have you been missing your or passenger side mirror? Literally, like, since tonight, dude. Like, I was in Austin with my sister, my stepsister. And once we left about, like, the domain, I was trying to go back to, like, Belton Dam. That way. To Belton? Yes, sir. Belton's not that way, is it? No. no. Do you know where you're at right now? Honestly, I'm I'm a little lost. I was in Pflugerville with my sister. And then now, honestly, I have no idea where I'm going. You're in Pflugerville and then you're going to go home to Belton? Yes, sir. How'd you get right here? Is this like like a trap? I no, I'm like... trying to figure out how you get how you got here. That's all. Because you haven't been here that long, right? Not no, not too long. No, I mean I, we probably left about like the domain about like 15, 20 minutes ago. Okay, so you left it. Uh, okay, so do you go from Pflugerville to the domain and then you're going out to Belton? Yes, sir. Okay, and how, and uh... so I've been I've been in Belton. I mean I I kind of grew up here my whole life. Uh, Married Joe Exotic, if you know who that is. No, no clue to be honest. About, uh, What's up? Uh, I just told him one of them come over here so I can go home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling I thought you were bouncing out now. Yeah, so I, I moved back I here gotcha. about like a year and a half. Thirty one foot four. Okay. Okay. From, so uh, East Texas. From East Texas? Okay. Yes, sir. So be honest with me, man. Okay. Honesty is usually the best policy. I've had a few drinks tonight. Last second. Okay. Okay. Yeah, obviously, you know that. I'm nah. Well, when I talked to you, I could smell the odor. But you said you had one beer. I just wanted to make sure that we're being completely I mean, I've, honest. I've had a few. I mean, I was downtown. I was in the domain. Okay. And then, so it was Pflugerville, Domain, and then you left and you're going to Belton, right? Yes, sir. I was going to one of my nephew's soccer games in Pflugerville. And then from Pflugerville, I went with my sister to the Domain. Okay. From there, back this way. Cool, cool. And now, my car... So it just stopped working? I mean, you can try it out. I mean, No, you didn't like run out of gas or nothing? No, no, no. no okay. No. It's just like the engine just kind of cut out. Oh, it's standard. I can't drive standard. <laughs> I can't start standard. I mean, you just it says pr it. press the clutch and try and you start just, it. You just got to put it in neutral, and then. Uh, but it's but a very expensive it, car. It's working. Yeah. Okay. All right. Give me a few seconds. Okay. You and I need to have a, a brief discussion and investigation. All right. Yes, sir. Because I got to make sure that you're good to go. Everything's good with the car, okay? The officer approached the vehicle from the driver's side and made contact with the lone occupant, identified as Dylan Passage. During the interaction, the officer noticed that Mr. Passage exhibited slurred speech as he explained he was waiting for his sister and that his car had suddenly turned off. When asked how long he had been on the shoulder, Mr. Passage responded that it had been five minutes. The officer detected the odor of metabolized alcohol on Mr. Passage's breath and observed that his eyes were red, glassy, and bloodshot. Upon being asked if he had consumed any alcoholic beverages, Mr. Passage admitted that he had. He also mentioned that he was Joe Exotic's husband. The officer then proceeded to observe how Passage performed in field sobriety tests. Yes, sir. So, it's very simple questions, nothing to trip you up or try and, like you said, trap you or nothing. Just simple questions. Okay, you know what today's date is? Yes, sir. Okay. It's about October 14th. Okay, okay. All right, what time is it right now? Uh, probably about like 11.30. Okay. I mean, I haven't checked the time in a while. Maybe like 1.30. I just looked at my phone. So that's a... Do you know what uh, what road, what, what highway this is? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I haven't lived here in like a year and a half, two years. Okay. 
What uh, what road do you remember or street do you remember driving on the last the last street you remember? Was it like 183? Was it IH35? Honestly, this is like honestly it's like a trick question, but I remember being on 35. Okay. That's that's the main road, the main okay. highway. This is probably like 90. Honestly, I'm. I-90? I-90, yeah. Okay. Okay. So don't freak out because he's about to leave and then I'm just having another car for traffic control just no, sit behind us. You're all right. Um, <clears throat> is this your Challenger? This is. This is, this is. Okay. And do some tests. Yes, sir. I mean, okay. do all the things. I could do I could do a backflip right now. Well, please do don't. We're on a highway. Please don't do a backflip. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty talented. I can I'm not I, my I question could, your talent. I promise you. I could you. teach you. Like, I could do a backflip. God dang. All right. So, because we have Officer Howe here, what we're going to do, I'm just going to be staying here and face me. Yeah. We won't have to do a backflip for this test, okay? I promise. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, I can show you. Do that. you want to keep your phone in your pocket? No, that's all right. You sure? Stay there. Hey, I'm gonna keep the phone on speaker, Miss Bridget. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Janessa. J Janessa? Yeah, Janessa. Okay, Miss Janessa. Bridget, Bridget was the mean one I talked to, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, feet together, hands on your side. Very simple, painless test. Okay. So for this test, I am gonna have you take your ball cap off because I gotta look into your eyes. Okay. Yeah, so I promise you, I will give it back to you. I'll even have uh, Officer How. I don't know about that. I feel like that's, that's kind of personal, right? There's too many lights over here, though. I actually turned all the bright ones off, man. Well, I, <laughs> you f***ed up because there are a lot of bright lights right there. All right, so you ready? All right, so for this test, you're just going to stand with your feet together and your hands down on your side, okay? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have my handy-dandy pen here, right? Sure. So all I want you to do is with your eyes and your eyes only, you're going to follow the tip of this pen as I move it horizontally and vertically, okay? All right. At no point are you to move your head. It's just solely with your eyes and your eyes only, I feel like okay? this could be a trick thing, but yeah. I promise you it's not. It. I'm doing it by the book so that there's no question for error, okay? Let's go for it. All right, so you're going to follow this with your eyes and your eyes only. At no time do you move your head. Do you have any questions? No. Do you actually understand the instructions? Yeah, I get it. And no questions? Yeah. Are you ready to begin? Yes, sir. Dang, you're taller than me. Try not to blind you, okay? I'm just. This is a lot more simple than this. This is one much more simpler. Again, you I want you to stand. You I don't. I you don't. Not this do time. Do not this time. All right. Do me a favor, standing I'll your feet it. together, your hands down your side. Actually, face, face, no, 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 no. We are on this the side of a highway. No, 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 no. Do okay. not do it. I promise you, like, I could do a backflip all day, every day. I have no question. I do not doubt that you could. All right, one more test, okay? I feel like you're doubting me. I promise you I'm not, but I'm also not going to give you permission to do it on the side of a highway where people are doing 80 miles an hour past us. What if I get hit, I get hit. Yes, but then I get sued, 20. lose my job, and go to jail, and well, I don't want any of those things. <laughs> Thank God I'll be gone. <laughs> Jesus. All right, do me a favor. Feet together, hands down to your side. Again, I'm going to verbally instruct the test, and then I'm going to physically demonstrate it. So, when I tell you to begin, you're going to lift one foot off the ground. It can be your left, it can be your right, it's whichever one you choose. You need to lift one foot off the ground, approximately okay. six inches. But my question, what comes after I lift my foot off the ground? Uh, it's funny because I'm actually telling you what happens after you lift your foot okay, off the ground. Okay, but it's also a trick question. How is it a trick question? It might because, be a trick statement. Because. However, you have to let me instruct the test before you know it's coming. You're lucky you're f***ing cute, okay? But Am I? If I wasn't. Officer Howe is cuter, I promise. So, hold on, hold on. Bro, you got to let me finish instructing. I'm trying to show you. That if I lift my leg up off the ground, oh no, it's a this good is a chance I'm gonna fall. Hold on. And then I'll be like, hold on. You'll be like, oh, he's drunk. So hold on. So this is where we're at. I want you to lift one foot off the ground and proxy six, six inches off the ground. Whichever foot is not lifted has to be completely locked out. Okay. Your hands are gonna be down at your side, and you're gonna look down at the raised foot. You're okay. gonna count yeah. loud. One thousand one, one thousand two, yeah. until I tell you to stop. Because I'm gonna be observing you for a small amount of time. So, now that I've instructed it, I'm going to demonstrate it. So, feet together, hands down your side. Now remember, it has to be lifted off the ground and out. There you go, just like that. And you have to be counting. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just keep on going, keep on going. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And stop. All right, do me a favor, walk up to you over to where Officer Howe is. Up here by me. You gotta walk over here. Okay. So, you want the bad news? Just, just do it. All right, do me a favor, put your hands behind your back. Yeah. Am I allowed to call my sister for Yep. I will let you call her. I'll just put on speakerphone. But yeah, you've been cool. I'll let you call her. Well, this is f***ing bad. I have one custody 2100. God damn. I'm going to go grab your phone. I just need to double lock these, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to run away. I know. I ain't saying you are. You've been pretty chill. You've been respectful. I'm just letting you know so that you have a courtesy of knowing, okay? All right, just, Can I at least like, talk to my sister? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab your phone and put it here. Just do me a favor, stand in front of my car, okay? The officer arrested Mr. Passage following he failed the field sobriety tests. He was taken for a breathalyzer test following the encounter. The proceedings of this case are unknown. If you think this was the maximum a cop can get caught flirting with a suspect, then you probably haven't heard of this next case. Why are you up there causing problems? <laughs> I'm caused with problems. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Do you have a ride You're cute. Yeah. yeah, I do. All right, well, you need to go find it and leave. These are officers from an unidentified police department. On December 26th, 2022, the officers were called to a local bar when a drunk woman, distressed about her friend and boyfriend, triggered an altercation at a venue. The owner and his son who works there stepped in to defuse the situation and offered to drive the woman and her friends home. The cops showed up on the scene to control the situation. As soon as the woman was confronted by the cops, the lady went live on Facebook. Watch how the lady reacts to the situation. What she look like? 20. Do you know she's like the only chick in there? She's in there. Okay. She just went in there, so she's probably not gonna be long, but it seemed like she was friends with the girl, she had a boyfriend, and they were drinking. Not that. Yeah. She's like, I'm calling you sister for all your friends. She's like, okay. Are you the manager on duty here? I'm the owner. Oh, the owner? Okay. My son, my son was a food owner, so I had him come off before. Like, okay. Hey, one of them, they were right on the corner. They all work right. here. But yeah, Do you want her trespassed or anything from here? I just, I don't want any, I don't want any problems. You know, okay. Do you want us to cover it a ride to get out of here? I just, I, I mean, I'd rather you guys just do what you do. I mean, I'm, I'm trespassing. It's just, it's ugly. I don't want okay. bad things on anybody, but. Okay. She's obviously, she's just upset about her friend and the boyfriend. Okay. I don't know what the story is, but I'm like. When they, call oh, you, right. when they call you CCD, oh, you're hey, are they home? Hey. Yeah, they're all good. They're all good. Oh, he, drove, he drove them all. Okay. That, that's the great. Okay. That's the great G. That's me. Okay. So, um, now, okay. Do you know what her name is by chance? Or, no, I'm not sure. I'm not a I'm not a yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when she comes out, we'll deal with her and everything. i got a couple units actually working the road coming up here right now, so. Where the, where? I mean, I, I don't know the deal with them. The girls are. They seem Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. So she's in the bathroom. Uh, there's no. She's in the bathroom. There's no drunk driver. Uh, the one that was driving, his son was driving two people that were drunk. Told me. She's okay. she's hammered apparently. 
And I guess there was an altercation between the people that she, uh, she was with that he drove home that she didn't like the friend and the boyfriend or whatever. Okay. I mean, uh, Angela, Angela, she'll probably tell you better. I just came in and I'm like, what's going on? Angela's right there. Oh, she's right. Angie, what's our problem? Is she in there? I don't know. I didn't go in there. What's up? Um, she was up here drinking with one of her friends or whatever. And I don't know if she was already drunk when she got here. I know she lost a baby and she was just fake cracked and all that shit. But they said Jessica was here. Oh, sorry. Hello? 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 She's kind of my thing. We'll, we'll see. Listen, this is going to turn out really badly if I have to come in there and find you. When you can just walk out here. Hello? This is my last warning before I come get you, and you're going to go to jail. Did you call the police? No. What? Did you have an issue with somebody up here? No. Why are you up here causing problems? I'm, I'm causing problems. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Do you have a ride right home? Yeah. yeah, I do. Alright, well, you need, to, you need to go find it and leave. Find it and leave. Yep. You're getting trespassed from here. Let's go. Oh, I'm trespassing? Yep, let's go. Huh. If you don't leave, I'll take you to jail. I mean, I'll go to jail. I ain't got no problems. Let's go. You look familiar. I don't recognize you. Mm. Out the door. I've, I've seen you at the bar. Right. Come here, on. Bro. Yeah. The last warning for you, put the handcuffs. Last warning for you, I might have it I with it. me, sir. <laughs> I need your ID. Yeah. You'll get it. You're right, I will. We all from North Carolina, baby. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. 49 is I have one out of North number. I'm on Facebook Live, just so That's y'all fine. know. Oh. Not Facebook Live. Hi, Facebook Live. Zero, 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 two, six, 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 nine, to Jesse. Jesse. And ain't got no warrants. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Y'all can do your own little shindig. I'll go to jail. I don't give a shit. Could I don't care what you got. You're being trespassed. And if you come back to this piece of property, you're going to go to jail. I don't give a shit about coming back to this piece of property. I reckon that's a good thing, though. <laughs> I'm going to jail, y'all. If, if you don't leave, leave the property, property, you're going to go to jail. Well, this, this property. You leave and now. Y'all. You leave now, or shitty. you're going to go to jail. Last I mean, morning, leave the property now. You're gonna I mean, how long? <laughs> you gave me. You gave me. I had plenty of opportunities. Don't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Playing with the wrong one, but you're gonna end up. Are you playing me. with me, bro? Take bro. Battery on Neo Church, too. Yeah! 490 for 610 I didn't do it! You just f***ing me! You f***ing me! You f***ing my face! Yeah, you shouldn't have kicked me! No, I did not kick you! It's on camera, Dunn! No, no, it is on the camera, yeah. dog! I got no f***ing Facebook Live, you oh, piece you of shit! You can sh- tell the judge! I will tell the judge! You got me on Facebook Live, you piece of shit! Get up, and get, get up and I'll get your stuff. Get up and I'll get your stuff. Get up and I'll get your stuff. I will. Will you? Like you're not even giving me a chance, bro. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Hey, Angie, get up and I'll get your stuff. 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 Goodbye, Facebook Live. She's gonna go to jail now. We're on Facebook Live if I can figure out how to stop it. That's a she a fool. Oh yeah, she's all she had to do was leave. You piece of
opportunities to leave. You said you didn't care if you go to jail. I did care. 2026. Oh. No, my f Sure, I thought about that before you refused to leave and decided to tense up, resist us, and then 26. kick an officer. And when you decided 26. to kick an officer, you caught a felony charge. Oh my god, I got a baby! <laughs> sure, I thought about that before you did what you did. I got PTSD, bro. Congratulations, so do I. Don't yeah, go and kick the police officers. Oh. The lady tried to flirt with the cops but ended up getting arrested. The cops got on the ground and handcuffed her. She was placed inside the cop cruiser and was taken into custody. Very little information is known about this case, hence the proceedings of this case remain unknown. If you think this was the last cop who was caught flirting with suspects, then you probably aren't aware of this next case. How long, how long have you met this? Yeah, then from, from before, from, we met her at Club Okay, okay, all right. Just wait for me right here, okay? You don't I'm have anything? I'm looking at your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What, what? I'm looking at your eyes. Why? Because you look pretty handsome. This is a trooper from the Texas Department of Public Safety. On April 14th, 2023, a trooper pulled over a vehicle on FM 1017. The driver of the vehicle informed the trooper that the two women with her were friends and they were on their way to a nightclub. When the trooper asked how long she had known the passengers, she mentioned that they had met several months ago at a nightclub. When questioned about whether the passenger's driver's licenses were fake, the driver claimed she didn't know. At that point, she attempted to distract the trooper by flattering him. Watch what she is about to do. Fine, you're fine. Just come over here to this side. Do you have anything right here? Oh, no, you want no? to open it? Yeah. And right. Okay. They're my friends. Okay, and, and who are these? Oh, they're my friends. Okay. 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 Are, are these legit? They look I'm, ga I'm guessing, but like, I met them at uh, Club Fuego. We're, we're, having, we're going to a gathering. We're okay. going to go have some drinks. How long How long have you met this? Yeah, they were like four from Texas. We met them at Club Fuego. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Just wait for me right here, okay? You don't I'm have anything? I'm looking at your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What, what? I'm looking at your eyes. Why? Because you look pretty handsome. Oh. <laughs> we need to call the cops. Can I just please? I have an autism kid in my house. Okay. Please, please. We'll do it. Please. Yes. Please. Okay, okay. Do that, do it, ma'am. In, in my car. Ma'am. I just want to... Uh, Estos documentos por un momento de tiempo. Por un año. Por un año. Ok. Pues son, son falsos, ok. Y tener documentos ¿Qué? en estados de Texas es un delito. Las ID, a esta te sale a un señor, a tuya. A esta no me sale a nada. Ok, so, estas identificaciones son falsas. Ok. Ahora, yo lo que le quiero dar a entender a ustedes de que... So it's, it's clear what's going on now. Mm -hmm. But we already passed that. You, you, you had two undocumented people in the vehicle. We're passed Ay, that. Ma'am. Ma okay? You're under arrest for human smuggling. No, sir. Turn around. Please. Turn around. Okay. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, separate your uh, arms. The driver attempted to distract the trooper with flattery, saying that the trooper was handsome but he soon discovered that both passengers had fake Texas driver's licenses. The driver later admitted to picking up the women from a stash house in Mission and intended to drive them through the Border Patrol checkpoint in Falfurias. As a result, the driver was arrested on a charge of human smuggling, and the two passengers were referred to the U.S. Border Patrol. It's shocking to see cops exploiting the situation for their pleasure. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.